so I'm in the greenhouse and it's going to be really hot today so as I always get a little bit of shade from this side um, from the trees I'm going to do some potting on so I've got quite a lot of um, plants that I've soil blocked see and they are all ready to go into the next size so what I'm going to do is instead of soil blocking um, just because it's quicker actually to be honest is I'm just putting them in these trays um, and it's just as quick to do this quickly put some compost in and then I make a little hole so what we're going to do is I've got um, some status which really needs to be done I've got some snaps um, I've got some asters what else have I got over here I've got loads um, I've got my flocks um, these uh, this is my amaranthus it's meant to be green and red but I think Chilterns might have sent me the wrong seed because they both seem to be red which means I've got 80 red amaranthus I don't think I really need that many but I'll put them up to see what I've got and then I've got loads of snaps look at these really good looking so they need to be done so all that's got to be done today what else have I got to do today quite a lot actually I've also got my carnations they need to be done look and um, my fever fuse just come in and actually finally look my verbena bonensis has just started um, coming up um, oh and something else which is quite exciting where these are more snapdragons and we have so many it's ridiculous um, I did these as an experiment because I normally soil block all my snapdragons because they're so tiny um, but I didn't I just um, sprinkled them on you see how patchy that's gone um, but actually it's really annoying because they're all together so um, I'm not sure I will try um, getting them apart and put them into things this one is what I want to show you can you see these two here these are my penstemons and I planted them on the 21st of February and I've got two seedlings that's it two I was going to give up but they arrived so I don't think I'm going to I don't know if I'll get any more but we'll see but yeah I need to get these snaps out of this side so I've been covering this side with just this little thing so I use a lot of recycled bits and bobs um, so that's what I've been doing it's been like this for ages okay so let's get on with putting these on okay so with soil blocking it makes it so easy they come out like this into their little blocks I purposely left them a little bit dry for this um, just because it makes it slightly easier when they're really damp they I find they fall apart a bit more and then you just make a little divot same size as the square of the soil block and in they go so these are my status my pastel mixed status so I've not grown these ones before I normally grow the um, I normally grow the really brightly coloured ones and I just thought I'd have a bit of a difference this year. Um, I didn't grow many last year so um, and I think they're really good for drying but I'm not really one for oh too many I'm not really one for dried flowers I don't know why I just don't really like them but I know a lot of people do and being a flower farm I'm here to try and make some money so um, I'm going to try this year to dry some so that's why I've got quite a few here to do so I'm gonna get on with this and we'll get back to doing the snaps or something in a minute okay so I've done the soil blocks put them all into um, these little things like this okay so they're all done so I've done I've managed to do um, one and a half trays of these um, so I need to go and get a few more of the 24 of these which I've got over at the allotment so I'm going to go and get those in a minute um, and then I can carry on and do those ones. I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so we've got the status there, the two trays of the status. We've got flux. Um, we've got some snaps. Oh, and a little bit more status at the back, so I didn't have enough room. 
more snaps, you can hardly see them now, they've been potted on. Um, and my asters as well, and then there's a few extras, asters there, they didn't all fit in. So that's what I've been doing today. It's really, really hot today, so um, I'm, I've got all the windows, I've only got one window in the um, greenhouse, which is above me, and then the doors, so I'm going to leave that open. Um, I've taken the lids off most things, some of the things I've only just put in, so I'm going to leave the lids on them for a bit. Um, so, at the moment the temperature in here is 25 degrees, so um, I'm going to keep an eye on it. It's lunchtime midday, so hopefully it won't get too, it will start to cool down maybe, I don't know. Um, but my shade's now gone, as you can see I had a shade earlier, it's gone now. Um, but I'm going to go pop over to Lotman and get some more of these trays so I can carry on potting up. And actually, before we do that, I'm just going to show you what we've been doing in the garden here. Okay, so what I've done here is, um, obviously this is the bed that I'd done a while ago. And I've already put some plants and stuff in it. But my husband bought me these scaffold boards. So each bed was meant to be five metres, but as these boards are four metres, and he bought them for me. I'm going to keep them to four metres, so that'll be fine. So um, he's going to help me put them in um, because the pegs I bought weren't good enough and I want to put a path in because I hadn't thought about putting paths in. So I'm having one less bed now than I was going to. But yeah, so we're going to put this and then there'll be, obviously that's where the next one will be, just down here where the wheelbar, that'll be another one there. So each one is going to have a path along here but obviously these are these are just the boards that I've put to show where I want it but we're gonna have a scaffold board here so my husband very kindly offered to um, put all the raised beds in for me because um, he's a builder and I think my steps are he doesn't like my steps <laughs> he's a landscape gardener and um, I think he wanted it all straight um, and so because obviously we it's in our garden we look down on it um, so he's going to do that for me tomorrow um, while we go to visit my mum as we're allowed to go and visit people now in gardens which is lovely the kids can't wait to see their grandparents so we're going to go off and do that tomorrow as it's Good Friday tomorrow and he's going to stay here and do my beds for me which is exciting.